getting facts, information, different ideas in regards to why our public school system is currently facing such a very dire funding predicament. So I don't really have a huge amount of specific to say about the situation here in Langley. Uh, I think the facts uh, behind the situation and the problems that are being experienced here in regards to the deficit uh, are things that you have some information on the table. There'll be a lot of discussion later on this evening. But hopefully some of the things that I'm going to talk about in my presentation will provide a, an appropriate and useful context for understanding the backdrop to the funding situation here in this particular school district as well as in all the other school districts in BC. Now I titled the presentation, Why is our school system caught in a funding crisis? Subtitled Structural Funding Shortfalls in BC School Districts because the concept of a structural funding shortfall I think is quite a useful one for us to look at in terms of getting a handle on the uh, factors which underlie the problems we're experiencing with providing financial support to our public schools. Now I start with the question, what is a structural funding shortfall? This is a, it's not my idea, it's basically an idea that has gathered some interest and currency amongst primarily school secretary treasurers from the province, uh, who are, that come to be extremely concerned about the fact that the problems that school districts experience usually are not ones that are situated within particular year, uh, years or whatever, but have gathered momentum over a period of time and are the product of a variety of different factors and influences which condition uh, how our schools receive money and how much money is provided to enable our public schools to operate. A structural funding shortfall, it's important in looking at this idea. I just offered a uh, provisional definition. This came to me one night in a state of fevered imagination. But uh, basically, what I'm suggesting here is that a structural funding shortfall occurs when available revenues, in this case revenue to run our public schools, lags chronically, persistently behind what is required to pay for the delivery of publicly mandated programs and services. So you really, in this situation, you have a problem with a level of revenue that might exist here and a level of expenditure that's required that might be up here. Uh, the gap between the two is what essentially constitutes the structural funding shortfall. It's structural in the sense that there is a chronic and persistent lack of capacity on the part of school funding obligations that occur in the routine operation and administration of school districts. Now, I differentiate a shortfall from a deficit. You're facing a deficit problem here in Langley, but you're also facing a shortfall. The two terms are often used interchangeably in the media, in public discussions, uh, whenever the topic of school district finance comes up, but they really are quite distinct. And how or why, if you want to pose this question, does a structure of a shortfall differ from a deficit? Really the situation is that shortfall uh, exists within a particular school year because of the lack of revenue to meet mandated programs and services. Now, it is a shortfall and not a deficit in the sense that uh, the, the uh, School Act of BC is very explicit in restricting the ability of school boards to run deficits. Now, Langley is a bit of an exception, maybe more than a bit of an exception, a clear exception. But the fact of the matter is, if you look historically at the province, Deficits are quite a rare phenomenon. Maybe not totally rare, but they're quite uncommon. In order for a district to run a deficit, uh, really a catastrophic situation must occur, whereby it becomes impossible for a, di a district or a school board to balance its budget in a particular year. A district is allowed to run a deficit under the law in British Columbia only when and if the Minister of Education gives formal approval and permission for that to occur. So, by that very fact, 
Deficits are very uncommon in this province. The ministers of education do not routinely or casually give permission to school boards to run deficits. A deficit basically is a situation where, and we'll like to hear more about this in coming days, uh, when we hear all about the federal budget, which is coming out quite soon. The deficit occurs when, again, you have revenue at one level, expenditure pressure at another level, and the gap between the two, the shortfall, basically becomes an amount of money that is required for the government to borrow in order to balance and bring revenue and expenditure into balance. So that the amount, the shortfall amount, becomes rolled over, as it were, from one period or one fiscal year into succeeding periods of time.